Final race of the first round of the playoffs. Martin Truex Jr. has the opportunity to be the first regular season champion to not advance out of the round of 18 or 16. Um, that's going to be a big issue if that happens. Big issue. Um, ch- take us through the points, Professor. Start at the bottom of the grid. Michael McDowell must win minus a crap ton. Yep, Michael McDowell minus 40 to the cut line. Then Stenhouse. Mathematically can do it. We all believe it's a win, it's a win needed, okay? Yep, Stenhouse minus 22. I believe that's probably it. And, and let's be a little careful here, Chop. Me and Professor looked. He, he, while you think he runs good at Bristol, he's, no, it really doesn't back the stats. Don't back it up. Well, if you ask him, he runs well there. <laughs> well, okay, let me rephrase. Let me try this statement again. While he may run well at Bristol, he doesn't finish well, which is where they pay bets and points. Yep. Okay. You know, it's kind of like, man, I had three he's birdies. Been, he's, he's in must-win, What about right? the I triples? Mean, basically. Yeah, 22 is a must-win for me. Uh, biggest made up is 18 points, Byron 17, right? Yes. 2017, Byron made up Not 18 points. 21. Oh, I was only off four years. 2021. Yep. Then next on the list is Bubba at n- minus 19. If it isn't a win, it's a winning performance. I mean, he's going to have to be top three, top three, top three stages. Big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's Truex, minus seven. Now we're getting into someone that can actually get in with just good runs. Um, unless somebody coughs it up. Now, listen, somebody above him can cough it up. So let's go above Truex. First okay, so in. First in is Harvick, plus seven. Then Logano, plus 12. Bell, plus 13. Busher, plus 13. Chastain plus 18, Kyle Busch plus 24, Blaney plus 25. You could stop at Blaney up. Blaney up, if they just don't hit some shit, they're moving on, in my opinion. Uh, it's that big chunk of Harvick, Logano, all of those guys. The beauty of 13 points is that if Truex could qualify great top five and he runs third in the stage chop and you run 11th, you say, oh, that isn't bad. I'm you know eight spots behind him. He scored... You know, seven points, you scored zero. So now your 13-point lead is only six. Like, it can go away real quick in the stages. Um, so for that reason, and, and the reason I say that is for the betting reason, you know, I don't think there's going to be a lot of games played. I think, you know, it's going to be a damn knockdown, drag out, bring your best and race because who could – and Denny, let's flip to the top. We have two that are locked in, Larson and Reddick. Forget about them. Denny has enough points. He's fine unless he has a flat tire lap one. Which could happen. Yeah, um, I, historically, that many he's already scored enough points to make it. All right, so so we'll keep going down the list. Hamlin, who else? So Hamlin, Byron, Keselowski, I think they're the only ones we didn't mention. And like I already have Hamlin and Byron have scored enough points basically to make it. Well, I can't wait to get to the predictor then, because this this was where Busher and put RFK on the map again last year. So. Um, the floor is yours. Larson and Hamlin, again, the, the, the top two, and by far the two favorites. Then I have Harvick, Keselowski, Byron, Chase Elliott, Christopher Bell, Chris Buescher, Joey Logano, pretty close together. Tier twos. Yep. You want to talk about any of them? I want to keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Then I have Truex, Reddick, Blaney, Chastain, Wallace, Chase Briscoe and Kyle Busch. Okay. You're going to put Kyle Busch third tier again. <laughs> the man's won at Bristol eight times. Yeah. Chopper. Not eight Xfinity wins. Not eight <laughs> truck wins. Not Arca East, Arca South, Arca West, Arca North. Not a birdie on the last hole at the old farm. <laughs> We're talking cup races at cup races at Bristol. He's won eight. Yet the professor is going to make him a tier three driver. This has got to be good. Go ahead. Please my, explain. My man's won there 22 times in the top three series. 22 <laughs> times, Chop. <laughs> 22 times. Yeah, sounds like tier three to me. <laughs> okay, right. we pick on you, but there's a reason he's there. Tell me why. Tell me why. He's no bullshit. Tell me why. 21st or worse in the last two Bristol races. He's finished out. Now you're only talking concrete, right? Yeah. Because don't give me no dirt. Nope, no, there's nothing. Well, he won the dirt race. Dirt. Nothing we talked about. No, he didn't win the dirt race. He was delivered on a silver platter with a bow oh, the dirt race. Right. It was, a, I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah, nothing mentioned today 
takes into account dirt. Okay. So, we were going to have to mute you if you said dirt. <laughs> so finished 21st or worse in the last two Bristol races. Then he's finished outside the top 10 in, in four of the last five short track races. And then do we have to get into how bad he's been lately? This like, is a bounce back day. So, so I, I won't say he's been bad, but he just hasn't been Kyle Bush worthy. All right, you got him in a tier three. God knows. I hope he listens. Kyle, if you're listening, don't put up with that. Tier three? We'll, we'll make sure to put this out on social media and tag him. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, the professor says you're tier three. Yeah. 22 wins at Bristol. Eight in cup. Please prove the man wrong. Disrespecting. Oh. I, I, Keep going. Let's get to tier four. So Eric Almarola, Ryan Priest, Eric Jones, Daniel Suarez, Alex Bowman, A.J. Allmendinger, Ty Gibbs. Any issues there? You know, I, th I thought I thought Jones ran a little better there. Was that only in Gibbs equipment? Has it tapered since? Because he yeah. used to be pretty good there in his career at some point. So he, he's kind of a, a sleeper pick, but I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. So he's All been... I will say is this. We knew he was going to be good at Darlington, and he was. But la they were, once again, better last week than I expected. Yeah, so he's been decent there, but just overall recent performance brings him down. Okay. And and his recent short track performance, like he hasn't had a top 10 on a short track since two. That doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. This isn't a short track. This is Bristol. Okay. Baby. Then if you take out his regular short track numbers, I, I lift him up a little bit. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm not trying to be a jerk when I say that, but Bristol is, well, it's a half mile. I mean, it's, you know, it's like calling Atlanta super speedway. It's a drafted track. <laughs> That's why it's a drafted track, Russ, because it ain't a super speedway. It's still a drafted track. This is still a shorter track. <laughs> so then. Okay. We're on fire. Yeah, sure. Let's hear them all. Austin Dillon, McDowell. Gill and Stenhouse, Cindric. Stenhouse, you have 27th on the predictor. Yeah. Get up, Ricky. You ain't hurt. Dust yourself off. Well, his <laughs> average finish in, in, in the playoff races at Bristol's 31st. Football is back in full swing with another week of epic games. And who's got you covered on the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Nobody's missing out on the action this season. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code DMD to sign up. New customers can bet just $5 and take home $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code DMD. The crown is yours. All right, let's get right into the book then, shall we? I say we start at Kyle Bush. If we, if he's so highly on him, what do you think of Kyle then? Twelve hundred. Well, let, let's say this: if it normally Kyle Bush at the book would be first, right? First or second? Kyle Bush, it, so, so to, oh, God, I hate I'm going to do this. To defend the professor, <laughs> Kyle Bush should be the favorite heading to Bristol with eight wins. And the fact that he is seventh or eighth in all the books just proves what the professor's saying, that it's not been what we thought it would be. So Larson, number one, they all agree. It's just a question, Chop, at plus 550 if you got a bite. Um, Hamlin 750, Byron 750, Bell 800, Kez 850, Elliot 850. Uh, that Elliot has a fan twist to it too. Let me tell you, he ran good last week, and his odds are dropping. Bush 12, Harvick 12, Busher 12, Blaney 14. He's gonna haul ass. He always does. And does he not hit so much stuff at Bristol? And not even his fault. I mean, if 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 a billboard was gonna fall out of the sky, it would land. If the big hoss or whatever it's called fell, it would land on the 12 car <laughs> at, at Bristol. I mean, the guy's got no luck. Um, Chastain, Truex, Lag Logano at 14 is a bit surprising. I mean, am, am I dreaming he's good at Bristol? I mean, 
Reddick, Bubba, Gibbs, Bowman. I don't know. Did you send the predictor to the book? Because the book kind of looks like the predictor. I don't know what to say. I, I can't. I can tell you one thing. Don't waste your time. Let's talk about Bristol in general. Don't waste your time looking at practice. Um, they're going to practice around the bottom. They're going to spray a little sticky stuff around the bottom. And at about lap 325, they're going to run to the top. So I don't care who was good at the bottom because it doesn't matter. Practice doesn't matter. It's a waste of your time. Um, like it really is. I, you know, I hate to tell you something different, but it's an absolute waste of time because you're going to practice around the bottom and you're going to run 300 laps around the bottom, but the race is going to be one around the top. Where do the winners come from traditionally here? What starting position? Is it you typically the... I would say inside the front three or four rows would be my guess, but let's see if the predictor... Four of the last five came from, the, from a top five start. Busher was started 20th last year. How did he get there? Was there something crazy at the end? No, he was just good. He was good? He was just good, to be honest. He was um, – we were – I don't want to use the word shocked because that's a slap to Chris Busher, but we were as surprised as everyone else when the 17 with like, I don't know, a couple hundred to go. We were like, man, this, this is – like, he's rolling. You know what I mean? Like, like to your point, Chubb, it's not like he got track position and held it. He, he was like – you know, we, in our timing screen, we kind of get one, two, three, four, five, who's the top five fastest guys every lap. Now, at Bristol, it's like boom, 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 boom. I mean, it moves quick. Every, and he – you know, wasn't always one. That's a lie, Professor Wright. But he was always top five. He always kept getting highlighted. And you were like, man, he's – he – where did this come from? And then he just – man, he just did it at the end. It was just, it was really just a great run. Wish I could give you more to it. Um, yeah, he led 170 laps. So. 